Oh, hey, so you guys need a project? Oh, oh we gotta like shoot that. Yeah, yeah. I totally forgot about totally that. Totally forgot about that. Oh, man. Uh, we'll do that. But first, let me take a selfie. <laughs> I really need but first, let me take a selfie. Good afternoon, I'm Darius Phillips. And I'm Andy Kucherov. This is East Dayline. Today we talk about the issue of sleep deprivation in the schools, primarily among students who need to be in the building by 7.15 in the morning for classes to start at 7.20. We all know that sleep is one of the basic needs of humans in order to live and a vital part of having good overall health. Sleep deprivation or deficiency can cause mental and physiological health problems in a person. Sleep is even more important for teens in their adolescent years because their bodies are not done growing and developing. The recommended amount of sleep for teens is nine, is nine hours per night, which is more than it is for adults. However, of, because of early starting times for high, school, for high schools, as well as numerous people, sports clubs and other extracurricular activities to go with academic work, most, most teenagers in high school get much less sleep than that. How has sleep affected you in school? Sleep. I haven't had much of that lately. Studying for finals. Oof. When you get sleep, you tend to fall asleep in class. <laughs> when, you, yeah. when you fall asleep in class, you don't know what's going on. When right. you don't know what's going on, you tend to fail tests and get bad grades. Uh, what, is, what has affected your sleep the most? What, you know, why are you so sleepy when you come to school? Uh, the schedule change. You know, now we're having eight classes instead of the usual four. Right. You get a lot more homework. And right now, I'm in a bunch of clubs. I'm interning at a senator's office. I have a job at Olive Garden. So when I get home from, when I get off of school, I usually go there, and I get home around eight or nine, and then that's when I start homework. Right. And you still gotta eat dinner. That's another thirty minutes. Right. So I tend to go to sleep late. Um, but. What do you do in class or in school in general to help you stay awake? Uh, well, I don't drink coffee. I'm not a coffee person. Um, I find that disgusting. I don't know. Um, to help me, I usually eat an apple, something like some fruit, or just like jumping jacks, <laughs> push-ups, anything to get the, like, the blood flowing. Yeah. 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 Biological clocks in adolescence naturally shift to later sleeping and waking times. This means it's not natural for a teenager in high school to go to bed at 8 p.m. and wake up at 6 a.m. Distractions like phones, computers, and the internet are a problem, but they are not the entire problem. These shifts in the body's internal clock are real and do happen in teens. There are many reasons that high schools have, much, have such an early starting time, but many of these reasons are either myths, misconceptions, or can easily be reworked. For example, one of the reasons is to manage bus schedules in order for the same buses to pick up elementary and junior high students from the same bus stops. This is not a real issue because the timing for different schools can be changed so elementary schools start earlier and high schools start later. Elementary school children do not need as much sleep as teens and naturally sleep and wake at earlier times than teens as well. The biggest problem is that society views on sleep is that it is a luxury act luxury activity for unmotivated and lazy people, and that hardworking people have no time to waste on it. This is a, is a completely skewed opinion to have. Teenagers are not lazy, nor are they slackers for being tired during the school day and getting a little sleep. Sleep is an essential part of a hardworking person's life and allows for better focus, productivity, and hard work to be done. Many people often expect way too much of teens by putting such large workloads on them and flooding their schedules with school activities and sports, all while expecting that they stay focused and productive. But it is unreasonable to believe they can do this when they are not given the opportunity to get proper sleep. I'm Andy Kucherov. And I'm Darius Phillips. This is East Dayline, signing off. <laughs>